Alright, what I'm doing today is doing the rear shocks. Now I've got to get this spare tyre out. Um, from last time, I looked under here for someone else. I made a pretty crap video, so this is kind of like a better feature video. This is for um, rear independent speed suspension as well. It's not a manual diff. Um, so for those vehicles with um, manuals, this is um, not the video you want to watch. Um, <coughs> can't make one of them because I don't own one of them. Um, so, yeah, you've got the rear shock there, and a rear shock on the opposite side there, so get a spare tyre out and get into it. Okay, so I'm um, getting under the left, doing the left hand side first, and uh, it's fairly easy to access, so you've got the left hand side um, top on here, which they both look like. 14 mil, that's the bottom one there. So uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll have to hold on to the shock here at the same time while I undo it, and the bottom one as well. Hold on to the shock while I undo it, and um, get into it. So Jess, can I have a 14 mil please? Thank you. So yeah, see, it's gonna turn it shock so uh, the top part of the shock there well, you know what I mean um, so I'll get that out and um, we'll have a look together how bad it is eh? <coughs> well point out the shock absorber can you see it yeah okay so what you've got here is the old shock and if I push it down pretty much effortlessly push it down that's too easy like not completely completely dead but she's pretty well Daddy. it's not gonna happen any further this is Monroe shock there you can see the you see that there Jessica yeah. that's a Monroe shock and just Daddy, take the easy off goes down me. far too easy but still still has some sort of back pressure okay there's the shocks I'm going to use so pointing at the shocks down here Jessica can you see that? Yeah. yeah. So this is the Ultima shock. Yeah. This is the Munro. <clears throat> side by side there. The Ultima oh. is a bigger shock. Uh, probably about... Put that there. Some line there. Probably about an inch longer as well. And you can see with the Munro, with the Ultima shock, the brand new one. Push it down. So that's how it should work anyway. So I'll get in. This is yeah, put this in. Okay, so this is the uh, right hand side shock. And um, you can see we've got the spanner up there. That's pretty much just about off. Um, it's a that's your shock absorber there. Sorry, I have to finish the video off with the mobile phone. My camera ran flat on me. Um, so it's pretty much, it's pretty easy to get to. You've got the bottom nut there that goes onto that thread. Top nut there, up there, which you can reach by laying down underneath the van, underneath the diff, and um, just get your hand up and get to that top bolt, pull the shock out, put the new one in. Um, there's actually not a lot to it. It's quite an easy job. Okay, so there you go, the new shock absorbers are in. It's a bit harder to hold the camera straight when you're using a mobile phone. But as they're in, so uh, should be a much better ride now, I'm not so bouncy in the back end. So again, thanks for watching guys. This is your host Jessica and me. Five. <laughs> <laughs>